Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews, the tech channel, and today I'm going to explain how to erase and factory reset your Zen Phone 2, both if the phone is working and you can get into the software, how to do it that way, and if the phone won't start up correctly, how to do it via the buttons. Please take note before starting, this will erase everything on your phone, your email, your photos, your halfway through getting to the final level of games, it'll all be lost, so be sure this is something you want to do. If your phone does start up normally, your Zen Phone 2, you'll want to go into Settings, and then choose Backup and Reset. Choose Factory Data Reset. Here you are reminded that this will erase everything stored internally on the phone. They list a few of the things included with that here. If you're really sure, down at the bottom, click on Reset Phone. And so concerned are they that you might really not realize what you're doing, might really not want to do that. They double check again and it's not your own pin that you're typing in here. They show you a pin and you have to type that in to show that you, a human being, are actually authorizing the erasing, permanent erasing and resetting of this phone. I have typed in the pin. I am ready to press erase everything. Now you notice we've gone into a low level screen here down underneath the operating system. This is where this erasing is going to happen. Now this doesn't leave the phone completely blank as in there's no operating system. It's erasing all of your data. It will come back up with an operating system that acts like you just took the phone out of the box. After about three minutes, screen goes blank. Phone vibrates a couple times, starts back up. Took about another minute and a half for two minutes of starting up, and here we are back to just out of the box. If the problems with your Zen Phone 2 are so great that the phone will not even start up and you need to factory reset and erase it, you'll do that with the buttons. Now the buttons are a little bit different layout than on other phones. The power button is top center. And then there's a volume rocker here in the back right below the camera. And that's pretty much all you have to work with on the phone. And what you'll do, your phone will be off because, again, it's not working correctly. So you have the power off to it using the power button here at the top center of the phone. And the volume rocker, you're going to press volume up and hold that. That's really all you have to work with on this phone in terms of buttons. So you press the volume up, hold it. You're going to press the power button and hold it until you feel the double vibrate. And then you're going to let go of the power button, but keep holding the volume up and then a menu will appear on the screen and I'll show you that in a second. So here we go. Volume up is being held. Power button is being pressed. There's a double vibrate. I let go of that. I'm continuing to hold the volume. And you can see we have the menu appearing now. And it's the menu with the Android. And here's where we can go on to the next step towards doing the factory reset. Now the volume rocker on the back is what you're going to use and you're going to press, if you don't see this mode option up here at the top, press volume down once and that should bring it up. Once it's up there, you cycle through it using volume down, volume, volume down, volume down. You cycle through the different options until you get to recovery mode. When it says recovery mode there in that box at the top, you're going to press briefly the power button at the top of the phone to select that. And wait. That will bring you to the broken Android or the fallen Android screen that says error, but this is where you want to be. At this point, you're going to press and hold the power key, press and release volume up to get to the next screen. Press and hold power. Press and release volume up. And here's the option we've been looking for. Wipe data factory reset. Use the volume down part of the rocker to go through and select. And with it highlighted, again keep in mind this will erase everything on your phone. The email, the pictures, everything will be gone that was stored locally on the phone. If this is really what you want to do, you're going to tap the power button at the top to select this. Here we go. But are you really, really sure you want to do this? 
They are basically asking you that, reminding you everything on the phone will be erased. If you're really sure, you have to go down past all these no, 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 no's until it says yes, I'm sure, go ahead and erase the phone. I'm going to use the volume down rocker to select that. And with yes, delete all user data, highlighted, again, tap the power button at the top to select it. And away it goes, and away goes all your data. As you can see, it's telling you right here. This does take a few minutes. When it has completed the erasing, these lines will come up and it says data wipe complete. Jumps back up to the top. Reboot system now is what it jumps to by default, and that's perfectly fine. So I'm going to tap the power button at the top to select it. This usually takes a minute or two as well as it, as it resets things up to be just like it's out of the box and then you'll be prompted to put in all your information and start over again with your phone. And here you are, welcome to your new phone. Better luck this time in setting it up, getting good apps that won't crash your phone and not having problems. You're all set to start all over with your Zenfone 2.